So here's how it's going to work. So I'm going to share with you seven. How many? Seven. Profit maximizers you can use to explode your business. Seven of them. Seven of them. And I'll go through each one of them in detail. Then we'll also do some exercises and, and do some discussion as well. So profit maximizer number one is this. And that is strategic thinking versus tactical thinking. Strategic thinking versus tactical thinking. Most entrepreneurs, they are very, very tactical. Not very strategic, very tactical. And I'll explain in a moment what that actually means. So my question, first question is, what's the difference between a strategy and a tactic? What's the difference between a strategy and a tactic? Just yell the answer. Long term versus short term, very good. Okay, proactive versus reactive, good, yes, yes. A leader versus a machine. Okay, a leader versus a machine, good, I like that, yes. Master versus, master versus amateur. Okay, master versus amateur, okay, yes. Oh, very good, very well said. Say, say that again, Nathan. Yeah, strategy is a whole bunch of tactics. To get to a certain goal. To get to a certain goal, very nice, very nice. Now, think in terms of strategy and, and tactic. Most entrepreneurs that are tactical, they, when they seek information, they're looking for tactics. This is what I mean. How do I do Facebook advertising? How do I do webinars? How do I do Google AdWords? How do I do SEO? Those are the are tactics, okay? Those are tactics. But strategy could be, let's say, okay, how do I, I want to do Facebook? How do I run the ad? How do I write the ad? How do I get clicked? That's tactic. But strategy, okay, exactly what is the offer for my Facebook ad? Where do I drive them to? When I, when I go to my landing page, do I sell them something or do I try to capture the email? What would the email sequence look like? And what if they buy and what if they don't buy? Where do I take them? And if they exit, do I have another pop-up? That's a strategy. Does that make sense? Yes. Cost per lead, cost per sale, back end. That's the big picture umbrella strategy. And most entrepreneurs are tactical, and they look for a, a more like a bandy approach. They get a cut, I'm not getting customers, I'm not gonna make enough money, okay, get, give me a quick fix. And usually that does not work because they are not strategic. They don't think in terms of, okay, but why didn't it work? Why didn't it produce the results I was looking for? I wasn't sure, but so they don't take enough time to think. I am a strategist. I get paid a big bucks by being strategic looking at the big picture, looking at business from 30,000 square feet above. What do we need? And very often what you think you need is not what you need. Write this down. Very often what you think you need to take your business to the next level is not actually what you need. Because most entrepreneurs, they have what I call a, a tunnel vision. In fact, do this with me. Do this with me. Go ahead, everybody. Do this with me. Go ahead. Most people look, most entrepreneurs look at the business this way. Look, at, it's the tunnel vision. Let's just take it down. It's like, wow, okay, you, should, you could actually think outside the box and look at all this stuff. Look at the decoration, look at the lights. Let's just look at it, looking at it through this way. And they, they, they try to solve the problem with this understanding, with what they know, with, with the, the existing understanding of whatever the competitors are doing versus, hey, you know what? There's so much more we could do. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. so tactical versus strategic. So. Strategy versus tactics, strategy is done above the sho shoulders. It's done what shoulders? Above. above the shoulders. And tactics are done below the shoulders. Tactics are done what? Below. below the shoulders. Below the shoulders. Strategy. Now, does that, are you, well, Dan, are you saying that I just need strategies and I don't need tactics? Is that what I'm saying? No. no. You need both. You need both. So a strategy is nothing more. Nothing more than a plan that overcomes an obstacle. A what? Obstacle. obstacle. A plan that overcomes an obstacle. So our job as an entrepreneur, first, is to understand what the hell are the obstacles. What are the problems we are trying to solve? And sometimes it may not be so obvious. It may not be so obvious. What are the obstacles? What exactly is holding me back from going to the next level? So you might think, well, you know, I'm talking to a lot of people. I'm prospecting all the time, but I'm not closing enough sales. You might think it's a sales problem, but if you look closely, it may not be a sales problem. It may be a marketing problem. 
that you're not getting enough leads. You don't have a full pipeline. And when you don't have a full pipeline, human nature, you'll be more desperate. And when you go into a sales conversation, when you're desperate, the prospects can sense that, and that's why they don't buy. So you're looking at sales. I need to work on my sales ability. No, but maybe you need to work on your marketing ability. Maybe work on your lead generation instead. How many follow what I'm saying? Yes? yes. Hello? Yes. Yeah. Sun Tzu, strategy without tactics is the slowest, slowest route to victory. Tactics without strategy is the noise before the defeat. Tactics without strategy is the noise before defeat. The Art of War. How many have read The Art of War? Yeah, if you haven't, read it. Your Art of War. Right? Doesn't have to be mine, any one of them. The Art of War. The Art of War. Written thousands and thousands of years ago. Still very applicable. I believe actually, people think it's a, it's a military strategy book. I believe it's one of the best business books ever written. If you actually understand what Sun Tzu is talking about which is very deep because it's quite, you know, even as a Chinese, it's, 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 it's difficult to understand. But if you, you, you kind of force yourself a bit and you try to understand and try to think it through, a lot of wisdom within that book. A lot of wisdom within that book. So the difference between strategic and tactical, and that's, a, I think, a good comparison chart. So read it out loud with me, okay? So strategic is direction, is what? Direction. Tactical is implementation, is what? Strategic is strategy statement is what? Strategy. Tactical is what? Annual. Annual plans. Strategic is the a board vision is what? Broad. Tactical is specific detail is what? Specific. Strategic is unstructured is what? Strategy. Tactical is structure is what? Okay. Structure. Now both strategic and tactical they are problem solving. They're what? Problem but different types of problems. Okay, different types of problems. Strategic is creativity. Strategic is what? Creativity. Tactical is analytical. analytical. Analytical, okay. Strategic is external focus. Is what? External. Tactical, internal focus. Internal focus. Strategic, irregular. What is it? Irregular. Tactical is? Regular. Strategic is long term and tactical is? Short term. Very good. And strategic is difficult to evaluate. Tactical is easy to evaluate. You can see Facebook, I do a Facebook ad, bam. I can see how many clicks do I get, how much traffic I'm getting, you know instantly. But strategy takes a little bit more time and sometimes you can't pinpoint what it is. Is it exactly working? So, uh, strategic who focus on it? Senior management, who focus on it? Yeah. Tactical middle level management, the implementation aspect of it. Okay, so that's a pretty good chart. The difference, strategic and tactical. The question I have for you is, within your business, how much time you spend, you invest in your day-to-day -day being a strategic entrepreneur, thinker, versus a tactical entrepreneur? Strategic versus tactical. You don't have to answer that question, but think for yourself. Well, you know, how much time I spend every day or every week being strategic? For most entrepreneurs, is what? Very, very little. Very little. And that's why they're struggling and they don't understand why they're struggling. They don't know. They do not know. So before I go into profit maximizer number two, let's take two minutes. How long? Minutes. Just discuss among your table strategic versus tactical. Strategic versus teach each other. Okay? Two minutes, go. Okay, hey, stop. Give your neighbor a high five and say thank you for sharing. Okay, so share with me, just yell the answer, any, what, what, is, what does that mean for you, strategic versus tactical? What have you discussed? Just yell, yes. Very good one, he said, Ryan said that be strategic as a leader and then delegate the tactics. Yeah, okay, be strategic as a leader and delegate the tactics, very good, very good, yes, Jerry? Yes, strategic is working on your business, working in your business, very nice. Yes, it is. It is, it is. Yes. yes. Yeah, we all have natural tendencies where we, where our personalities, like where we're leading to, whether we're more strategic or more implementer, it also depends on our personality. Yes, yes, it has a lot to do with personality, uh, but also believe it's also a, a question of habit. Mm -hmm. That, of course, I'm, I tend to be, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm an idea guy, I'm a big picture person. 
That's my personality. But at the same time, I know there's a lot of tactics within this like business or marketing or management. Example would be, I know SEO. I could delegate SEO. I could do SEO, I just don't have the time. But very often, how many of you hire some people, let's say you outsource some of these work and you found the results not so, not so satisfactory? Yeah, very often what happens is I say, if you don't understand that topic, how could you delegate it to somebody and how do you know if they're doing a good job or not? So if I know SEO, one second, if I know SEO, if I'm talking to an SEO firm that I'm gonna outsource my SEO to, I asked them a few questions and they would say, well, you know, Dan, how we do SEO is we, you know, we, we spam Google, man. It's, we, you know, use these <laughs> techniques and, and, you know, the text at the bottom and then we turn it into white so Google won't see all this shit. Okay, that's bullshitting me, right? So that doesn't work. So I, because I know SEO versus if I talk to them, you know, you know how we do it is we, do, we, we build links for you and make good content and make sure your page is optimized, your title tag, okay. That's exactly how you would do it. It makes sense to me, so then I would outsource to them. Does that make sense? So they're only as good as how much you understand your subject. So it's like Stephen was talking about copywriting uh, last time. If you don't need to, I'm not trying to turn you into a copywriter, but you, at least as an entrepreneur, you have the basic understanding of you recognize good copy when you see it. So then when you hire a copywriter, okay, you can give them feedback. No, the headline, what's the benefit here? What's in it for me? I don't quite get this. The offer, what's the, what's the call to action? There's no urgency with this offer. So at least you know what to look for. Does that make sense? It's the same thing. So if you're getting people, you're outsourcing, they're not performing the way you want it, look within. Am I being ignorant? What, what, what am I missing here? Is there something I need to know that will make me a, a better leader? Yes? Okay, one more thing. Yes, Andre. Every single time I brought somebody in, expected them to come in and create a miracle. Yes. Never worked. Every single time. Every time Andre expects to bring someone in and create a miracle, never happens. It, it never happens. It never happens. It's like you, you expect someone to, to go in there and, and, and go in your business and, and do what they do and, and everything would be great. It's not how it works. Because at the end of the day as an entrepreneur, the buck stops with who? You. you. It, it's you. It's you. So, but you can have people helping you, supporting you, that's okay. But don't expect them to do a miracle. It, is not, it just doesn't work. It's like you hire a personal trainer, suddenly you expect that you're gonna be like, you know, Mr. Universe. At the end of the day, your personal trainer can lift a dumbbell for you, right? You gotta go on, you gotta lift that dumbbell. You gotta go on that treadmill. He could show you, he could hold you accountable, he could show you techniques and, and help you with plan your diet, but you, you gotta get on the thing. You gotta get on the thing. It's the same thing with business, because nobody cares about your business more than you do. Nobody. Period. Make sense? Yeah, yeah okay. 10 times your finances, 10 times your business, 10 times your marketing, 10 times your life. Hit the subscribe button now.